Hey, my name is uh, Carl. I studied here because I think it was a great environment here and they have some great drums and some great teachers and uh, yeah just overall a very great school. I got to normal school first and then I started here. Oh. 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 My name is Katrine Fries, and uh, I'm a folk high school teacher here at Oa. The Danish folk high school started in 1944 by a man called Grundvi, and uh, he saw this need for the farmers to be higher educated, uh, and he saw this potential because they were working a lot during the summer, but actually in the winter time they hadn't much to do because they couldn't cultivate the the, the soil because it was too cold. So um, then during the winter time, the farmers they came to these folk high schools, and here they um, they learned about uh, themselves, they learned about their relation to others, and they learned about social issues. What he wanted was a, a much more open uh, way of talking to each other and reflecting together uh, in order to be more to be able to be more curious and to ask more questions uh, in order to develop themselves and society. So the Danish folk high schools are informal education so you don't get a certificate uh, by being here. And the outcome for the students are that you become better to take choices um, in, for yourself, so for your further education. When I went to folk high school, I decided what I wanted to study, for instance. Um, you become more clear uh, about your values, what's important for you. So the majority of the Danish students attending folk high schools uh, they come here after high school, so they will be. You have to be 17 and a half years old to attend uh, a folk high school, and uh, then they attend a folk high school for. Usually, it's for half a year or a year, um, and they come here and uh, they choose a, a, a subject uh, that they want to engage with. Some high schools concentrate about. Uh, politics, about philosophy, uh, literature, uh, others concentrate about um, design for instance, or architecture, photography, others concentrate about sports, others concentrate about theatre. We have a class together and we talk about uh, the importance of art in society. We don't have exams. Um, it's very important for us that this place is not about exams, it's about the persons coming here. So here you could say it's about the, the soft skills uh, that we've also been talking a lot about here at Unleash. I'd like to be a professional drummer for a big artist and uh, maybe become a studio session drummer. <laughs> The folk high schools are quite heavily supported uh, by the state. There are a lot of projects being made out of the folk high schools um, where people engage in societal matters.